Hello and welcome back. Sorry about the other video. I had to cut it short. <coughs> uh, my dog was outside and uh, it would only take a few minutes for him to start barking and want to come back inside. And when he comes back inside, he shakes his head for a bit. Now, hopefully, he's kind of settled down a little bit. But we're going to we're going to take up where we left off. He's still a little bit uh, moody over there, so I'm hoping he doesn't make a lot of noise. Uh, we are almost to Oberlin. I happen to step back because I was down here, and I stepped back and I looked. There's a camp. There's a camp down there. Um, we can actually use that if we need to. I should have all the supplies and stuff. That's the west of water plant. We're not going to go over there right now. I'm not quite ready to take on those guys. Uh, Beantown Brewery, that's where all of our bottles are at. I'm going to discover it when I cross the bridge here. Um, and that's where we're going to come get a bunch of bottles. We're going to clear out those raiders, grab those bottles, and we'll be set for a while. All right, but now there is, yeah, there he is right there. So let me get my sniper rifle out, my hunting rifle. Three shots to take them out, wow. And this thing does 75 damage, 85 damage. That is almost impressive. I also got to thinking, there's a magazine at... Right, yes. There's a magazine at Sunshine Tidings that will give me double the meat uh, whenever I kill animals and... For a character who likes, well, I, I say who likes, but for a character who hunts for his food, uh, a lot of the part of the time, a lot of the part of the time, wow. For a character who hunts for his food a lot, um, what in the seven hells is going on here? All right, this is part of the cleanup operation. The tower has been moved to the other side of the road. The fence has been cleaned up. Lady. Hi. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Take it easy. I'm with the Minutemen. I'm here to help. See You're the helmet? The Minutemen? I didn't really think you I find it fascinating she has a name now. Was one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Alicia these Oberlin. Don't put much stock Interesting. in Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. I didn't expect to get lectured by the people I came to help. Hey, I didn't mean to give offense. I'm damn glad you're here, no mistake. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food Back and street. supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. I'll take care of them. Don't worry. Corvega, of course. Okay, well, that just sucks. If you folks are for real this time, It'll be a welcome change for the better. Frickin' Corvega, still. You couldn't send me to Backstreet Apparel or something? Come on. Um, I kind of like this. I really kind of like this. This is on the opposite side. Got a big water tank there. Decorations. It's got a train. Um, model. I like that. I like that. Okay. Uh, this one has my approval. This is much better than the original, which sits right there. So, yeah, I like it. Let's see what their living conditions are like. They actually have beds. Oh, yeah, I like this. Um, this one has my approval. This is a much better settlement. And it's not, it's not overpowered changes or anything like that, but uh, I definitely like it. Okay. Okay, I can dig that. I can dig that. So, it looks like we're going to go clean out Corvega. Just great. Just great. So, I had an idea to come over here and 
open this up and there was something else that I had thought. Uh, Sunshine's hiding. That's what I want. Um, I don't know now, though. Uh, I, I don't know now. I really like this settlement, though. I like the changes you made to that. Okay. Uh, what is it? And let's see how hard it would be to get the sunshine tiny. Uh, <clears throat> and let's see if there's anything in here. I can raise the radio tower. I can go ahead and do that, I guess. Let's go ahead and raise the tower. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, I used to have, like, when I was role playing and stuff, I would be like, yeah, the radio towers, you know. Uh, Will help us communicate and all that. Moss is down there. Who's this guy? Moss and Mikey. These are the guys that discuss the sandwich. What makes the sandwich? So let's go hear that conversation. Look, man, I've been thinking about this for a long, long time. I know what I'm talking about here. Bullshit. You can't just put something between two pieces of bread and claim it's a sandwich. Does that mean a loaf of bread is technically a bread sandwich? Technically, yes, but you wouldn't eat it all at once like that, so it doesn't matter. How you hold it matters. Talk all you want, man. You put that piece of my alert meat between two pieces of bread, but it still ain't a sandwich. Well, what the hell would you call it then? Disgusting. That's what. <laughs> Now, some people say these two are raiders, but I don't know. I've never had a raider experience with them. That conversation is hilarious, though. Oh, we're getting some janky. There's a nice boat floating in the water. Completely dry. First aid kit. I might come back and raid the first aid kit later. I'm going to have me a boat. I'm definitely going to have a boat house. Now, one of the radio signals is in here in the basement. And uh, you can actually uh, get in there and turn it off. This is uh, this boat's down in the water here. And you can swim around, and there are a few things in the water, but not very much. Uh, this old block gives way into the, the town there. And it's flooding because this is not working properly in the dam. Uh, which way is the dam? I can't remember. But anyway, um, the, see how low all this is over here. Yeah. Well, you can see from A is down in here. I saw a super moon there, too. Yeah, super moon. I'm not going to try that from here, though. Uh, but anyway, that town is infested with barrel ghouls. So we don't want to go over there right now. Uh, and I think we're going completely the wrong way to get to Sunshine Tidings. I think Sunshine Tidings. Right, there's Corbega. There's Weston. Those red towers back there, it's Sunshine Tidings. There's a gunner encampment somewhere on a bridge over there. Let's see, where's my sniper rifle? Hunting rifle. Yeah, that's a gunner encampment right there on that bridge. And those red towers right there, that is Sunshine Tidy. So we were going the wrong way to get to Sunshine. Um, and to correct that, I would have to go through way too many bad guys. So for now, uh, I think we're just going to try 
and hit up Corner Bank. Let's see what time is it. It is 2.35. I think we can get back to the camp. That is right over there before dark. We could. What the hell? Was, I think my dog just farted. We could get to. Um... All right, gentlemen. Have fun with your sandwich. We could get to uh, Grey Garden and possibly all the way over to uh, uh, Corvega. And I do have a night vision scope on my rifle, so that might a night assault might be really good. And to be honest, we don't have to clear the entire thing. We just have to clear out the place. Oh, I freaked out for a minute. Uh, we just have to kill Jared, basically. If we kill Jared, then that's the quest completed. And that's fairly easy to do. We kill what's on the outside, going through the top, around back. And uh, probably only have to take out... Let's see, I'm thinking. Um, we could go through the front door, and we'd have to take out about five people. And then take the elevator up and sneak around and we could take out jared one shot so technically that is six people that we would have to take out and get the quest done versus clearing the entire place out we may we may do that we may just do a quick strike and take him out and be done with it And I could get mute fruit from here and stuff, um, but I don't want to do that until I have a settlement. Um, I, it just felt like stealing, and he's not hes not all into that. Right now, he may be later. But I was looking at the changes made here. They put all the, yeah, I got a lot of fucking leg. But they put uh, all the veggies and stuff together in the middle, and then they've got some flowers. Now, these I'll get rid of, because we don't need flowers. Flowers do nothing to nobody. And then they just stacked all the loose stuff up that was in the place, stacked it all up here. And uh, it looks really good, I like it, but god, the lag in this place. And my computer is warm, but it's not really hot, so... I don't know, I'm thinking if I put some more air on my laptop, just to keep it even cooler, um, that would help out. And I've got to remember, I don't have my super armor on that, uh, that Nikki has. So I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. Of course, you know, they would want to clear out Corvega. You'd think if they sent me to a different settlement, they would want me to kill different people. But no. Nope. But it's alright. Now... The way that I usually do this is I take over this little building here and <laughs> I take over this little building here and then this is where we just start killing everybody from. But normally I'll take three or four shots and then um, I will go for, uh, I'll move and go for, nice to have them in for a different area. And where are all the rad roaches? There's supposed to be a bunch of rad roaches come take me out here. I don't know. Alright. It's going to be my quantum. Oh, God. Oh, now, there are a few key people we want to take out. That being one. 
There's one here, the body always disappears when you shoot him. Alright, that's two. Time to move. We'll have people coming up at us. Now to go through the front door, we need to take this out. Picking up hostile life signs. Yeah, clearing the outside is generally the one that takes the longest, unless you go piece by piece. And go around this whole thing and get your bobblehead up there. But, the bobblehead is far up. Oh, hey, how you doing? Thank you. Uh, the bobblehead is for your fusion cores lasting longer. Which is always nice, but oh, didn't kill her. All right, almost killed her. We can go through that door and clear out a few people on the inside. There you are. Alright. Yeah, you were saying. I am. Todd works just don't stand there and just let people shoot at him. He's not gonna do much of anything. I'm just gonna go for the loot though. I'm not gonna clear the entire inside, but I'm gonna go for the loot out here. Good lord! I hate when this game lags um, because it just it gets stupid, uh, especially in downtown Boston. Hey God.
But, I mean, I've got a top-of-the-line system. And it shouldn't be lagging, but just the optimization. Uh, you, you know, it's just going to lag. I think there's a guy right there. Yeah, no, no, no. There's a guy right there. There was. Past it. Anybody else? Are you guys done? Oh, don't worry, I'll come down there and get you in a minute here and there. Caution, sir. Uh, I do believe something is stalking us. Aha. Uh -huh. I was gonna say, dude, if that makes it up here. There we go. 95. Take him out. Where are you going? I never leave a task unfinished. I'll find you eventually. All right, there's one more. Ah, uh, well, there we go. I suppose there's plenty more weather. Ow. Where are they? Yeah, Godzi, I'm wondering where they are, too. You just floating around, not doing much of anything. Playing games with me, huh? No, not really. Don't worry, I'm coming to get you too. I'm so not concerned with them that I'm looting. But I've probably done this a hundred times or more by now. I've got well over 2,000 hours. I can pretty much predict where they're going to be. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had to sneeze there. That came out of nowhere. I figured I better get out of line of fire first. So. This guy was well armored. I'll give him that. Stem pack at the moment. What do we got here? Let's have some fancy glass and some dandy boy apples. Alright, that's gonna, gonna need to heal up, so. Uh, let's have some ribeye steak. That's, that will get us all our health back. Us, huh? No, Can I'm still right here, dude. Shut up, Cosmo. Thank you, sweet girl. Um, that lightweight leather right arm might be. Let's see, lightweight leather left arm. Ah, I got the boiled left arm too, of course. So yeah. No. And I know I could rip it and um, take the mods off of it, but I'll take that hair trigger. Alright. Now, a lot of people don't know about this hatch. Um, but you can come around here and open this hatch and get this guy down here with a lunch pail. And he usually has some kind of food in there. And he always has a mining helmet. Hang on. Ugh, another sneeze, sorry. <clears throat> Can't blow my nose right now. But um, he normally has a mining helmet, and I like to take the mining helmets and put them on my uh, my settlers. Um, and see, the guy that I shot up here is gone. They all disappear. If you shoot them here, they disappear. And I haven't been able to figure that one out yet. But anyway. 
But if you give your settlers a mining helmet at night when they're walking around, it'll have a light on. And um, that's kind of cool to me. I kind of like that feature. Let's see. Now, I did shoot one guy up there in the walkway up there. I don't think I shot anybody down here. There's usually a, there's usually a roamer down here. He roams around. But uh, he may have been one of them I already shot over there, so. Yeah. Oh, another. If it's not a dog making noise, it's me sneezing. Man. Wow. Um, I'm going to clear this little thing out. And it's starting to get dark. Clear all this. Because I am going to go ahead and get my. Uh, Bobblehead. I'm not going to clear the entire inside out, though. I'm going to go in and shoot Jared. That's what I'm going to do. That seems like a really good idea. Because I wasn't planning on this being a Let's Clear Core Vega episode. Because they sent me to a different, um, yes, they sent me to a different uh, settlement, so I figured I'd get a different quest. But nope, it's all about the Corvega. Now we'll go down on this side and loot the guy I killed over there. Go through the front door, and I think there's about five we're gonna have to take out there. If we're lucky, the door to the main room with the uh, minigun will not uh, be open by Codsworth, if we're lucky. What the hell is that? Okay, it's a vent. Alright, that was kind of tricky. <clears throat> no matter how many times you play Fallout, you're going to discover something new every time you come to play it. We should be getting on the level where I shot that dude. Nope. So I don't know where he's at. Well, you know what? I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Alright, so now we need to come down. And I don't have any silenced weapons, so that's going to make this a little bit more difficult. But it is what it is. Now, if we come in on this side, we got to fight through a bunch of people. I uh, know I shot that spotlight. Kazi, you startled me. Okay. Um. Quick save. Now, this is not the best way to do this. And I will put a tutorial in the tutorial folder. There will be a tutorial on how to do Core Vega and a bunch of other places. Uh, I've done them so many times, I pretty much have it down to a science. And people argue all the time, well, that's not the best way to do it. This is the best way to do it. But I found that the way that I do it makes everything pretty much easy. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. Um, but when I get those up, you'll be able to uh, see the fastest way to do things. Um, but I'm working on one that tells secrets and um, you know, unknown places in the game, stuff like that. All right, first thing you do when you walk through this door, though, is shoot that guy. And there's going to be a dude coming out over here. Get in there. Nothing there now. What do you think? The right, jet will make you jittery. Yeah, she was right. What? And there's a little bomb on the wall, so you do that. That, get your bomb. 
usually there's a nuclear culture in here. If it's not in here, it'll be behind the coke machine back there. Uh, there's always a lot of loot to get in Corvega. Like I said, you can loot Corvega and be good to go for a month. Uh, and the Corvega is a bit weird and it will screw you up. It'll screw your stealth up. Because when you walk through this door, not only will you be um, going against the people that are in this hallway, but up above you up here is where Jared's at. And for whatever reason, they see you. Now, they can't shoot you, and you can't shoot them, but they will screw up your stealth. So you have to be very careful. And usually I come into this room first. Oh, it's gone. Man, uh, you And, of course, that didn't work because my stealth screwed. But uh, you can come into this room and then you can sneak around to this window. And anybody that comes into that doorway, you just gun them down. And that's usually how I do that room. But, like I said, with the stealth screwed up and they saw me immediately, uh, it just didn't work out that way. But still, I mean, they're not hard to kill. Alright, got Jack shit on you. No sign of them now. So that's three out of the way. Four out of the way, if you count the one when you first came in. And the first one was four. Give me that bottle. And then when you come in here, sometimes you'll have some behind that couch over there. Not all the time, but sometimes. And Codsworth, when he's inside here, will just crowd the hell out of him. Um, but there's always some good stuff here. You can get some bottle caps, but you get these light bulbs. Very good stuff. And there's going to be two guys in this room to the left. And what you want to do is you want to kill those two guys without Codsworth or one of them running into that room to the left. So if you can do that, you're usually pretty good to go. Get out of the way, you fucking robot. That's, that's how they irritate me sometimes. You know, I even have a mod to make companions smarter, and it doesn't work. There's no making fucking smarter. So get all of that. Disappearing act. Yes, it is. And I'm going to take the stairs up instead of the elevator, I think. Now, the only thing, doing it this way, I'm missing a mine to lay down, because once you kill Jared, and you go up there where he's at to do all the looting, you get two more coming in behind you from the way you went in. Uh, oh, food, I miss food. Codsworth, quit pushing me. God damn. That's why I really think I uh, could do this without companions. Um, I just, I like Codsworth. I like him as a companion. I like his dialogue and all that, but sometimes, man. All right, so what we're gonna do here, I'm probably not gonna go up there and collect any loot. And of course, Jared's not gonna be sitting in the spot. Ah, the cold Vega. Son of a gun, man. Hey. Go. Sir? Go over there. Here. Just so, sir. Stay out of my damn way. That's not Jared, is it? Yep, that's Jared. Have a seat, Jared. Alright. That's it. We've assassinated. No, you won't. <clears throat> I'll come back later and get the book that's up there. There is a picket fences book. Uh, and since this guy is going to be doing um, 
settlements and all that, building up settlements. Uh, I will get that book so I can get it, but I mean, just shooting him in the head and getting out of there right now, that's good enough. Except for he has the key to the safe. Damn it. All right. Anyway, we're at 35 minutes. That I may go back in here and clear him out, um, but I'm not going to do that on video. I killed Jared. That's the quest. Now, technically, all I have to do is go back to Oakland Station, turn it in, and we're done. So I'm going to call it here and figure out what I'm going to do and take a break from these sneezes. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. I love Henry, and I really want to get this uh, this Let's Play, you know, going good without things being messed up. So, uh, like I said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day.